Now, if you want to add more things than just the mouse and the base, you're going to have to say add and put title of the image. And I'm going to call this I open. If I click on it and go to set image, it's actually the same as the mouse. It's going to be... Wait, I forgot one thing. I already have... <laughs> I already have open eyes on the base, so I'm just going to correct myself and say I have. Add I closed. And it's the same thing over and over. I'm going to add a closed eyes. And this is actually very important if you do not want the eyes to be visible at the same time. For example, if you have eyes that have transparency instead of a white or a colored block pasted after them, then you want to give them tags like eye. Now eye closed, you go call that eye too. And save the model again. So I'm not going to bore you with setting up this whole character, but this is actually what we're going to need for a good tutorial on custom models. So I'm going to say OK for now. I'm going to edit that model a bit later so she'll have the accessories and the like too. But for now we're going to show what the tags actually do. So I'm going to make the video 10 seconds again. And this is actually a trick that I found out after making the previous tutorial. When you right click on a bar, I'm going to go for base now since it needs to be visible all the time. You first draw a little bar, it doesn't really matter how long it is. Then you right click on that and you say expand. It'll expand over the whole duration of the video. You cannot really control this, but... It's actually quite nice if you want something visible the whole time or almost the whole time. Because you can always say, right click, say split, and then drag the boss to be a little shorter. So she is going to be hidden for a bit. But it's actually not something that you, <laughs> that you really want to do if you're going to make a video where she's visible the whole time. So, as she's visible, we actually can do two things now. We're going to go and try to make a thing again, you know, with the double R mouth. If you're going to make a U mouth, but you think the A, A, A is too long, just drag the U and you can actually shorten the other mouth. The other mouth, yes. Because, you see, since they have the same tags, they cannot exist at the same instance. So, just for the people who are going to add accessories to your, to your models, I actually have a little tip for you. Do not, I'll repeat, do not go ahead and add accessory to every accessory as the tag because if you do that they cannot exist at the same moment and unless you have like hat accessories then just give them the tag hat rather than for example accessories because then you cannot show for example a necklace accessory at the same time and that's rather inconvenient So now you know what these tags do. I'm actually going to go and just erase these from the working field. Usually use the cut function since the delete function is a bit unclear to me. You can also find it under edit, but it the deleting function is a bit weird because it will also cut into other bars that are existing at the same moment. So I do not recommend doing that. Just make sure your clipboard is empty. So now we have Eileen Yuki in here. She's a bit big, so I'm going to put her scale at 0.8. 0.8. 
oh comma eight is actually what you need to do in this program since Japanese I believe but I think five is a better one I just put her in the middle you can set skill here in case you did not see it before but this is about it for a basic character if you want to make them blink this is actually something that all characters can do at the same the same manner. Just go to this part, right click on the character you want. In this case it's Alien Yuki and she's in here. Right click on that and say generate wink. Now the reason why I also set up the eyes now is because if you say close eye, you're just going to look at this list and you choose eye closed and in between image it should be eye health and you can say well the wink interval that's more or less uh, an average of how many seconds it's going to take before the character will blink again if you say randomize it means that well, she won't blink at exactly 4 seconds, but it's kind of the average they will, they will actually do. Um, I'm not sure what the difference is between wink interval and eye closing frames. But I'm just going to use the default settings. You can play around with this and see what the, what actually the effect of it is. I'm not sure yet to myself. So click OK and you'll see these little bars in here. Notice that lip sync generates one piece of closed eyes. You're going to go to about five seconds. You can see the eye closed frames and after that one health frame. But they do not put frames just before the eye closed. So you'll have to draw those manually. It's not really something I like myself about lip sync, but at least it works. In lip sync, I always have slow motion blinking, so this is actually something I rather prefer. If you play, you'll see she blinks. And there's another one, but there she has one frame less and it looks a bit less natural, a bit faster. But it's also a possibility if you prefer that. So this tutorial kind of is done now, if you ask me. Um, I'm not sure how much other tutorials I will make, but if any one of you has any requests for things I should make tutorials on for lip sync, just please comment in the video or send me a personal message if you'd rather do that. I prefer comments myself, but you can always contact me in whatever way you prefer yourself. So that about wraps it up and I hope you guys have had quite some fun with making lip sync stuff. And yeah, see you next time.